If you've been prescribed thickened liquids, you have some choices out there. I'm going to show you some options that are currently available to you, widely available in the marketplace. So up until recently, this has been the industry standard. It is a starch-based thickener that's made from modified food starch that's been processed so that you don't have to heat it to make it thick. Instant doesn't mean it works in an instant. It just means you don't have to cook it to make it thick. And that's what this is. When you work with a starch-based thickener like this, you have to agitate it for about 90 seconds to get those granules to disperse. And then it takes three to five minutes for it to reach the, a safe level. So when you're thickening with a starch-based thickener, give yourself time. It's um, moderately priced. Something like this works out to be about 10 cents a portion. But it's widely available. You can even find private store brands to save you a couple of pennies. The next generation of thickener is one that's based on a gum, and there are two types. There's either a granular or a gel-based thickener. And these are nice because, as you can see, they're perfectly clear, they have no flavor, they just get your liquid to the right consistency. This one is simply thick, this is the gel-based thickener, and again, it is perfectly clear. Um, it does have a little bit of a flavor, a little astringency. But price-wise, as opposed to 10 cents a portion, you're looking at one like this at a little over 10 cents a portion at about 10.1 cents a portion. And the Simply Thick is going to run about 30 cents a portion. It comes in a packet like this or in a pump, and it's slightly less expensive in the pump. When you mix these, um, regardless of the type you're using, the easiest way to mix them is to use a fork or a little whisk. Especially with Simply Thick, you're going to either need to mix it with a whisk or put it in a little um, bottle and shake it. it and it's going to take three to five minutes for all these to work safely. Now the beautiful thing about a gel thickener is that you can use those in alcohol, you can use them in fizzy drinks, you can use them in Gatorade, you can use them even if you're on a soluble fiber like Benefiber or Miralax. This will not work with Benefiber or Miralax. You need to use a gel thickener or a gum thickener. It's just not safe otherwise. So if you're on thickened liquids, the other suggestion I have is to go ahead and once a day thicken them in bulk and keep it in the refrigerator. I like to use a glass container because thickened liquids cling to the side of a plastic container, but if you can thicken your water or your Gatorade or your Sobe and keep it in the refrigerator when you're thirsty and you need hydration and it's available to you, you're, you stand a better chance of getting what you need. So thicken in advance, keep in the refrigerator, mark it so it says thick liquids so that the grandkids don't come in and take a hit of your uh, thickened liquids and wonder what they're doing. So anyway, I hope I've helped you today. If you have further questions, you can contact me on my website at Dysphagia Solutions or contact the National Foundation of Swelling Disorders. I hope I helped. Thank you.